Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. And today we are looking at our mid-month of the uh, book cover inspiration collab that I do every month. Uh, this month's book is um, The Witching Hour by Anne Rice. And um, thoroughly enjoyed this book. I've listened to it. I've uh, read it a few times and really, really enjoy it. The colors are quite dark and gloomy, but um, we can work with that. And um, I'll show you the colors that I've chosen for my blanket I'm going to make. So our first one, they're all Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver. And our first one is just white. It's getting blown out a bit, but uh, not too bad. Uh, the second color I'm using is black. A lot of black in the book. The uh, third color I'm using is cherry red. It's a little bit brighter. There we go. A little bit brighter than that, but cherry red. And the final color I'm using is gold. And the gold was in uh, the top of the writing. I, I hope I have the book up here somewhere. So those are the colors I'm using, all uh, Red Heart Super Saver. And I get these off Amazon because uh, they come in packs of three for under $20. And it's the cheapest I can find Red Heart now. So, uh, And this month, I'm not making a wheelchair lap again. I'm making a blanket for my stepson. I just call him my son. His girlfriend, who uh, they are now living together. So uh, everyone else has got a blanket. So she's getting a blanket. And Ayanna is a Ottawa Senators hockey fan. Against all of us, we are all Leaf fans, but uh, she's an Ottawa Senators fan. So I am going to make her a blanket with the Ottawa Senators colors. And um, let me show you what I've done on paper. So this is what I've done, and this is going to be the uh, the blanket. I'm not 100% sure on my numbers yet, but um, the width I know is 46 inches because I've started a little tiny bit of it. So, you know, I've tried to figure out um, how much the red, and then I've got one row of uh, gold double crochets between every color to divide it. And um, I'll show you the blanket starting. So this is my blanket that I've started. And it's quite wide. And the pattern I'm using, it's just going to be a three row repeat in each color. So it's just double crochet. And then the next row is three double crochets with a space. Uh, so chain one, then skip a space, double crochet all the way along. And then another uh, row of double crochet. And then between each color, I'm going to do a row of double crochet. And then so here in the black, I know it's hard to see, but so it's um, double crochets, then three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, and then another row of double crochets, and then I'm going to restart it with another row of double crochets. I don't want to put too many holes in it. So what I'm I'm doing, I'll put it here. So this is the first band, and, and I found a picture of a, an Ottawa Senator scarf, and this is how they had it. So I thought, oh, I'll just copy that because it's so just uh, one group here, and then I'm going to do the three groups of black, then some gold, and then, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, three more uh, repeats of the three row repeat in the white, and then the gold. And um, I'll figure out how much once I get that done. I've guesstimated that it's probably going to be about 20 inches by the time I get that part, and then I'm going to do as much red as I need before I have to add the uh, other side, which will be the same amount of 20 inches. So, and I'm hoping to get it about 60 inches long. So that's how I've started so far. I'm not a big fan of using black, but um, what I'll do is I'll try and uh, hopefully figure it out that I can do the black during the day because it's so much easier. Even with my, um, my light, it's still, Black is black and navy is black and navy are the hardest to do on me. So that's uh, what I am doing for this month's cow. Whoops. 
So just a short, quick little video to show you what uh, my progress has been. And I'm going to have to really hustle on this because it's going to take longer than a, uh, a wheelchair lap gan to do. So I will be uh, working on this. And as you know, I'm spending my days at the hospital with my mother. And um, I don't want to be dragging this in because it's going to be too big and bulky to carry in so i'll be bringing smaller projects there so this will be all worked in the evenings and um hopefully i'll be able to get it done in the month if not i do have till december 25th actually december 24th that's when our family gets together at my house and we hand out our gifts for everybody so that is my book cover inspiration um mid-month update and I hope you'll join us and I'm going to link below I have asked for your favorite book for next year because I'm going to do um, subscriber books next year I'll do January and I'll do December and then 10 in the middle and this year I'll be sending out um, a couple stitch markers right the month that I am doing the book so if your book gets uh, drawn for January, then you'll receive some stitch markers in January. So if you can go back to that video, I'm going to try and link it below and um, enter in your favorite uh, book or author and get you in the uh, draw to use your book and hopefully get a couple stitch markers from me. So I want you to have a wonderful week. It's midweek right now. So um, have a great rest of your week, and I will see you for WHIP weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.